Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. My name is Radhika and in this video we are going to talk about how to get started with Android development. So let's get into the video. So what is Android? Android is a mobile operating system based on modified version of Linux kernel. It was developed by a consortium of developers known as Open Handset Alliance and it was commercially sponsored by Google. The first Android uh, device was uh, launched in September 2008. Let me brief you about uh, the basic architecture of Android because uh, I believe as developers it really helps us uh, to uh, have a better understanding of our apps that, uh, that we develop. So the central part of the operating system uh, is uh, the kernel. So the first layer, the bottommost layer is the uh, Linux uh, kernel. So on top of this uh, Linux kernel uh, resides um, your native libraries and Android runtime. So native libraries are the libraries such as SSL, which is important for internet uh, security, then media, which helps you to play uh, audios and videos. Then there is a graphics library, which uh, produces all the images, uh, all the computer graphics. In this layer itself, there is Android runtime, which consists of all the Java core libraries and uh, Android runtime. So earlier, Android uh, used uh, to use uh, uh, Dalvik virtual machine, but uh, from uh, Android 5.0 onwards, uh, it was taken over by Android runtime, which uses a head of time compiler to compile uh, all the codes. Uh, so this is a virtual machine where all the processing happens and it uses the underlying Linux kernel for all uh, the low level uh, functionalities like security multi-threading and uh, memory management. On top of this layer, there is a application framework layer which consists of all the pre-built uh, libraries by the Android team such as uh, activity manager or telephone manager, location manager, content providers. You learn about all these things when you uh, actually learn Android development. So all these uh, libraries are exposed to developers uh, with the help of interfaces. So you can make use of all these uh, libraries to build your own apps. So the topmost layer is the application layer this is the layer where we uh, write our apps and install it the example of these layers are all the apps that we have on our phones like uh, games contacts app your whatsapp it resides on this layer so now let's begin to talk about how do you start your android development journey so the first step and the common step for all the learning process is to uh, choose your programming language. Now you have three options, C++, Java and Kotlin. Although C++ is not recommended or is not used that widely for Android development. So you have uh, basically two options that you can choose from Java and Kotlin. So um, I would recommend you uh, to use uh, Java because uh, two reasons. One, Java is older language. Kotlin is relatively new. So the support for Kotlin is lesser than uh, Java. It is well established. So whatever problems you face, you will find a lot of people to help you. Secondly, uh, Java uh, can be used in other things as well while Kotlin is specific to Android development. So uh, that is not the case most of the time when you're learning Android development. Uh, it is not that you have decided that Android development is the thing and is your career so that is not it you have to explore other things as well so choosing java will have its own advantages although kotlin is the official language of android as announced by google in 2019 so it is completely your choice what you want to choose as your language other than a programming language you'll also need uh, xml which will be used for uh, the uh, ui of your uh, app so the designing of your app uh, will be uh, done by using xml now it's not it does not mean that you have to go and find out an xml course and uh, do that first and then come to android development you can learn uh, xml while you are learning uh, uh, app development because it's uh, very simple it's not uh, very difficult uh, to learn so you will uh, learn while you are uh, doing android development the next step is to set up your environment for development so the widely uh, used tool for android development is android studio which is available on the official site of android you can go and download it from there there are uh, a lot of videos available on internet uh, which will guide you through the entire process of setting up your uh, environment the important point to note here is you will come across a lot of tools uh, when you download android studio which you are not aware of so try to understand the purpose of each and every tool that is uh, helping you to build apps so that uh, you can reap uh, the maximum benefits out of it for example uh, uh, 
Android SDK comes bundled with Android Studio without which you cannot uh, build apps. Understand why SDK is important or what are the functionalities uh, that SDK is providing to you. So SDK is actually a, a tool which uh, gives you all the uh, important libraries for development such as compilers, debuggers, emulator. Emulator is uh, another very important tool which basically allows you to uh, run a virtual device, virtual Android uh, device without uh, having a actual uh, device so that you can test your apps so another thing is uh, gradle which is basically a build tool which uh, uh, automates the entire task of uh, compiling and uh, adding all the dependencies and uh, finally making a dot apk file android uh, package kit now as you are done with uh, setting up your environment and choosing the language for you it's time for you to build uh, uh, apps start uh, writing code so very important thing here will be to find the right material and uh, right uh, resources for you because it's very important to understand the basic application fundamentals how your applications run so you will find a lot of uh, material here and there which will just uh, tell you to uh, write uh, uh, the, these lines of code which will give you uh, this output but that will only be helpful uh, till you are doing what they are asking you to do. The moment uh, you will try to do something on your own you will get stuck because you don't know the fundamentals, you don't know uh, why you did what you did right which is actually very important to understand. So um, right courses, right materials will uh, give you the basic fundamentals, will teach you how to uh, make apps rather than just giving you uh, the codes for a certain type of app so there are uh, basic components of android such as activity services content providers uh, intents uh, broadcast receivers um, which are important for you to understand and not everybody will take the pain to teach all of these things to you right so uh, try to find yourself a good course now i'm not saying to just uh, look for a zero to hero uh, kind of course which will just uh, uh, teach you how to make a, a big app like whatsapp that's not going to happen guys you will learn eventually eventually with practice with experience all i'm asking is to uh, grab the fundamentals to focus on uh, the very basics of android development right now once you have find the right resources for you be it a paid course or an unpaid course or any materials uh, or videos that you have compiled on your own make sure that you build apps out of your own imagination don't just stick to whatever the other person is teaching you but uh, make use of everything that they have taught to compile and make one app out of it uh, believe me guys even making uh, the smallest of apps can give you a lot of confidence and uh, can help you learn a lot of uh, new things because once you start making an app of your own you will try to uh, uh, give your app certain features which you will have to research about also a lot of times it will happen that whatever feature that you are trying to implement uh, the code for that will already be available do not just copy and uh, paste that try to understand uh, how it is done take reference from that but don't just copy paste it so uh, that will help you uh, to learn a lot so that's it for uh, this video i hope you enjoyed it in case you decide to uh, go for a well structured uh, course um, geeks for geeks offers uh, a, an amazing course on android development the link for that is uh, in the description box uh, below and uh, do uh, leave a comment down below if you have any ideas about uh, beginner level uh, android uh, apps i will be back with another video very soon till then bye bye